Lift your hands up this morning and just worship Him. Give your heart to Him and allow Him to move into your situation. Come on, turn it up just a little bit so we can worship God.
read something and it says, as children bring their broken toys with tears for us to mend. I brought my broken dreams to God because he is my friend. But instead of leaving so he can work alone, I stuck around and I tried to help in ways that were my own. At last, frustrated, I cried, how can you be so slow? God said, my child, I tried to help, but you never let it go. Let go this morning. Let go this morning. Let God do for you what he can, only he can do. Let it go. And step out. Pastor said, jump, shout. Not out of your emotions. You got to understand what praise really is. David danced when the ark came. Ark symbolizing God's presence. And it was taken. But when it came back into his palace, he danced out of his clothes. It was in Jericho when they marched around and they gave a praise unto God. And they fell. You got to understand something what praise really is. Because when you mix praise with faith, things begin to happen. And as you begin to praise God for what he is going to do, that's faith telling them, although it ain't already done, but I'm praising you because I believe it already is. That's faith. The Bible says it is impossible to please God without faith. But when you begin to praise God in faith, thanking him for what he has done, Things begin to happen. And you all of a sudden come to church expecting something from God. Expecting him to move. No longer is it church as usual. But it is something greater when you come into this place. That's why I said last week that the atmosphere of expectancy is a pretty ground of miracle. And when everybody in the church come as one body expecting God to move. Then, then you will understand. Thank you. 